church. How are we doing today? I hope you are really well. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever time it may be when you're watching this. I hope you're fantastic. Um, and I really pray that you have a great day or have had, have had a great day. Uh, my name's Rebecca, in case we've never met. Uh, I'm from our Manchester campus. Um, and today I'm going to be sharing uh, a scripture that um, really means a lot to me and one of those ones that you can always just go back to whenever you need it. Uh, so today I'll be sharing from 2 Corinthians 1 and I'm going to read verses 8 through to 10. Uh, and I'm going to be reading from the uh, NLT version today. So let's dive straight in, no messing around. We think you ought to know, dear brothers and sisters, about the trouble we went through in the province of Asia. We were crushed and overwhelmed beyond our ability to endure, and we thought we would never live through it. In fact, we expected to die. But as a result, we stopped relying on ourselves and learned to rely on God, who raises the dead. And he did rescue us from mortal danger, and he will rescue us again. We have placed our confidence in him and he will continue to rescue us. I'm just going to read that last little bit just in case you missed it. And he did rescue us from mortal danger and he will rescue us again. We have placed our confidence in him and he will continue to rescue us. Now, Paul was in a situation there, a really, really bad situation, but at the end, we can see that he saw the purpose of God bringing him into that place that was beyond his control humanly or his human capacity to deal with it. And from that, it was what that was what forced him to trust in God. Now, I don't know about you, but I've definitely felt uh, in a situation like Paul before. Not that I was close to death, but definitely when you're like, oh, I'm in over my head. I'm feeling like I'm drowning in my situation. I've done everything in my power and nothing has worked. I've definitely been in places before where I think that the situation I'm in is completely dead. There's just no life in it and there's nothing that can turn it around. And there's not like, there's just nothing that can help. But church, if you are in that situation now, or you're feeling that right now, I want to encourage you. It does not end there. Do not despair. Well, that rhymed. Like the scripture said, Paul expected to die, but from this moment of despair, he stopped relying on himself and learned to rely on God, the God who raises the dead. So Paul realised that it's okay, even if he dies, because he knows and trusts the God who raises the dead. So he's like, cool, I can die. God will just raise me from the dead. Because he had that confidence in God and that's the confidence in God we can have in our daily lives. God uses tough situations to bring people to trust him. Like it says in the Elevation Worship song, See the Victory, you take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good. Now, let's just say that again and say it with me. You take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good. The God who helped us in the past and things that we can relate to in the past or in other people and with Paul is the same God that can help us right now in our situations. And we can live in that same confidence that God is able to handle anything that may come our way. So just remember that God, guys, just remember that church. He takes what the enemy meant for evil and he turns it for God, for, for good. We have our absolute strong confidence that God can handle anything that comes our way as long as we just rely on him. Thanks, Church. I hope you've enjoyed today. It's been really good hanging out and chatting with you. I'll see you soon.